Good morning, guys. This morning, I'm making the boys some breakfast pigs in a blanket. I just have these brown and served sausages, and I threw them in the microwave for just about a minute, just so they weren't completely frozen anymore. And then I have my oven preheating, and I'm just going to wrap them in this biscuit dough. These turned out okay, but these aren't the best biscuits ever. They're like the cheapest ones you can buy. Because crescent rolls are like insanely expensive right now, but... One of these days, I'm going to learn how to make crescent rolls myself, and these will be so much better. But they weren't bad, the boys enjoyed them, they just dipped them in some maple syrup, and they said they were really good. Lately, the boys have really been enjoying vanilla yogurt with fruit, and right now we had some raspberries in the fridge, so I just added some of those, and then I added on some of the leftover mixed chocolate chips that I had from Tucker's birthday. These are milk, dark, and white chocolate, and I just put a little bit in there, and they love this breakfast so much. I feel like every time I see you guys, I'm in the car. Lately it just feels like I've been running around every day and going to the store and doing all these things. Yeah, so I ran to Walmart because there was a gift I wanted to get for someone that I saw the other day and of course it wasn't there anymore. So I didn't get to get that and then I ran to HB to just get a couple of things and I ended up getting more than a couple of things but just a few things it cost me almost $40. So I'm gonna head home and see what everybody's up to and then I'll show you what I got at HB. And then tonight we're making, a bird almost hit my windshield. <laughs> we're making some nachos out of leftover chicken tina. So I think it's gonna be good. I'm gonna try to make them a little bit different than what I'm gonna do yet though. So I don't know, we'll see. See you guys at home. So here's a little bit of stuff I got at H-E-B. I grabbed some toilet paper, and then I got the boys some, the boys. <laughs> I did not get these for the boys. Well, I guess the dogs are boys. I got the dogs some treats, because they were out except for the little like nugget things. Some jerky sticks and bacon strips. I grabbed a couple of things to go with dinner, some avocados. Did you know these tiny avocados are a dollar a piece now? Oh no, there went a lime. They used to be like 57 cents. Ridiculous. So I got some avocados, some limes, and then some shredded lettuce just so we don't use up all of our lettuce for salads. Grab some more paper plates that we need to stop using because they're way too expensive. I grabbed some more coffee. I got the cinnamon vanilla nut this time. This one's really good as iced coffee. Got the boys some more yogurt because they already ate through the yogurt that I got when we went grocery shopping. And some more milk, same thing there. Grab some beans to go with the nachos if anybody wants some. And then I grabbed some queso blanco cheese and some roasted green chilies. I might put the chilies in there, I'm not sure. And then I grabbed two more of these that were still on sale and these are actually for someone else, not for me but I don't know when I'll be able to send them because they'll probably just melt. So I'll have to figure that out. Yeah, just this little bit of stuff was almost $40.
So the boys had their lunch while I was at the store and I'm just getting mine together. We had some leftover peppers from our stuffed peppers because after we got it all plated and the boys sat down to eat, they really didn't want the peppers in their bowls. They love raw peppers, they'll eat them like apples, but as Tucker says, we don't like them cooked. So I just scooped out all of the filling for them into their bowls while we were eating dinner and I saved the peppers and the sauce and so now I have some leftover for lunch. We also had some leftover rice so I just added some of that and threw this in the microwave until it was all heated up and then I'm just going to make a fried egg to put on top and top it with some shredded Mexican blend cheese. What kind of birthday party are you going to want? we got to start thinking about your birthday. I'm still thinking. Dragon You're still thinking? And we can Ooh, rent that would be dragons cool. <laughs> to ride. I wish. We can go to a dragon <laughs> farm and ride dragons. <laughs> yeah, why not? What do you think you would want? You can call me Toothless. Do you at least know what kind of cake you want? You're still thinking about that too. No. Are you killing your poor gator? I just fixed him. Nothing's indestructible for him. So Garrett says he wants a Hot Wheels birthday, an emerald cake, and he wants a Minecraft frog plushie and it's orange. <laughs> hey, can you write down uh, 
on Minecraft. You want to tell everybody what happened to your eye? Your head, we already know. You got knocked by a controller. What happened to your eyeball this morning? I was petting Angus, and he scratched my eye. Close to the eye. Yeah. Yep. You're lucky it didn't get your eye. Yeah. You were scratching his belly, huh? Yep. Got you with his foot. He was trying to turn over. So to start off dinner, we have that can of diced green chilies that's roasted. And we're just going to get this all blended up. And then we have our leftover chicken tinga that I thawed in the sink earlier. And we have some queso blanco cheese. We're just going to blend up these chilies and add them to the cheese. So we just put some of our queso blanco into a pan and added in our blended green chilies. Of course you could leave those whole if you want to. And then we just added in a little bit of half and half. And then for the chicken tinga, we're just going to throw it into a skillet and add a little bit of chicken broth. Because this was frozen, it seemed like the chicken kind of soaked up the sauce and we didn't want it to be dry. So just a little bit of chicken broth did the trick. Once our cheese was melted, we also added in some shredded Oaxaca cheese. Of course, this is totally optional if you can't find it, or you can use another kind. But we just added in a little bit of that. And as it was melting, if it got kind of thick, we just added in some more half and half. So we have our warmed up chicken tinga and our queso. And then we're going to use some nacho cheese tortilla chips or Doritos, whatever you want to call them. Of course you could use regular tortilla chips, usually this goes on a tostada. We have some refried beans, and then we have all kinds of toppings and everyone just picks what they want. Some shredded lettuce, black olives, and sour cream. We have some queso fresco cheese, some guacamole, some onion, cilantro, and tomatoes, and some fresh lime. The best thing about Nacho Night is getting to make yours exactly the way you want it and everyone's plate looks different, but these turn out so delicious. And we really love this chicken tinga recipe, and I'll have that link down in the description box.
so I'm a huge mess right now. I was just out watering the plants and it's so hot. It's still like 100 degrees and it's getting dark, like the sun is setting. And it's so humid, so you cannot spend more than 10 minutes outside without just dripping sweat. But I was watering the plants and then I remembered earlier when I was driving by where our meter box is that I saw something scary. So if you're a little squeamish about bugs, and spiders specifically, you might not want to watch this part. Do you want to come say goodnight? Uh, not. <laughs> say goodnight, see you later. Or just make faces. <laughs> Go to bed. Love you. <laughs> so yeah, that was fun to find. That is the biggest one I've ever seen, I think. It was huge. It was like, I'm not even exaggerating. Like, gigantic. And it had two big egg sack things. And bleh. No thank you. Welcome to Texas in the summer. Thank you for coming along with us and spending the day with us. I know we didn't do much, but we had some yummy food. The chicken tinga, by the way, so good. Like the first time I made it, Adam said how good it was, and this time he kept saying how good it was too, even though it was left over and had been frozen. So I'm gonna link the original video where I made it the first time down below so you can see how I made that. So good, you gotta try it. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.